Hey guys, Spectre Minecraft here, and I'm back for the second episode of the Assassin's Creed adventure map that I'm doing. I'm in a prison here. Gotta get to the next challenge. You know, I'm just gonna run on the, on the fences here. There we go. Yeah, this is a pretty sweet map. Um, I have the brown and pink wool. If you weren't here for the last episode, you got to see the outside of the city. I found the secret, secret area here that I'm in, I'm locked in, so I gotta get out, there's probably gonna be a wool here, um, here we are, just drop down, oh, oh crap, this, this is gonna be tough, cause you gotta keep moving on this, so I think, yeah, it's gonna knock you off if you stay on the block too long. This is definitely really cool. Okay. I remember areas like this in Assassin's Creed, they were just like caves. Oh, uh, that. I jumped onto the top one and then I fell back. This shouldn't be that hard. Whoa! Never mind, that hit me off fast. This is tough. <laughs> those pistons, I don't even think there's a delay on those. I'm going to skip the middle one completely. I glitched through that piston, but regardless, I did a good job. I wonder what that switch... Oh, I probably have to hit the four switches around the room. Typical stuff. Activate all four of them to be able to get whatever, and then something should happen. It's probably the glowstone at the bottom there moves or whatever. Oh, more piston stuff. No. <laughs> this time they're not sticky. Um, I'm not sure if sticky would make a difference, but... And I have the head from that guy. It said kill the target or break his head. So, um, I might be allowed to use him. It says no breaking or placing blocks, but let's consider that a, a trophy head. And I'm going to use it if shit gets tough up here. <laughs> so, yeah... I hope this isn't one of those challenge things that is super difficult. Um, oh, I, I want to activate the block, but I don't want to, I want to activate it. Hey, I did it without cheating. So it is possible and I didn't even need to sprint, I was overthinking that. There we go. One more switch over here. This one should be easy because there is no um, piston stuff going on. And I went in the right order too. There we go. Yeah. Sweet. This map is really cool. Redstone going on. There's the green wool. Oh, so maybe the, the yellow wool will be difficult. I was last episode it was above the spawn there was this big mark that said that that's where the yellow wool was and then I wasn't sure if we went up there and blew the place up and there was a diamond but no yellow wool and I didn't see the green wool on top of this fountain so maybe this map won't be as easy as I thought where it won't point you to it there will be some searching around that you'll have to do um, yeah so let's go up Oh, there's cakes around the map if you do play on more than peaceful. Okay, where was the lime? Oh, the lime wool is on top of the fountain. And I just didn't even see it. Okay, well, let's go for the Sion wool for the next challenge. I think the yellow one's going to be the problem then. Unless I already have the yellow one. And it's like below in that room where it said don't go down there unless you have nine wool. This is a pretty sweet looking building. Um, oh, I see what I gotta do. Start here and then just run around the room. Hopefully there's not those big ridiculous jumps that are hard to make. There we go, that wasn't that bad. Awesome. So now I gotta get over here. Oh, the last block stopped me. Yeah, that one. I think I'm going to stop on that block just to 
align myself better because yeah that one's gonna be tough to make I, I wonder if the other side is the exact same or not okay let's take this oh man <laughs> that sucks um you know I think I'm gonna use my my trophy head I wasn't supposed to break or place blocks but last episode I executed a target in a crowd I used the glowing pumpkin that I have in my inventory here so I'm gonna assume that I can use him as a cheap shot and use it to uh, pop this area I'm just gonna try the other side and if I can't do it I'm gonna use the glowing pumpkin head now he's off of oh I can't even put him never mind I can't cheat with the pumpkin head. <laughs> this is a really difficult jump to make though. That is actually really hard. It's just at the point where that is so tough to make. Hmm. You know what? I will use a shortcut here so I Oh wow, the first first try, really? Now I'm gonna be mad if I fail over here. Nice. I got up. Is there anything else in this room? No, that's it. Nice. So, yeah, I can move into here. Oh, I think I'm above the castle. Yeah, there's there's the blue wool. And there's the city below me. Is that the same? I think that's a different part than the last episode. Okay. So there's still multiple paths to go this time. I like having that little bit of choice. Gotta go this way though. Here we are. I think I got, yeah, you gotta get up there now. But I can't make that jump till I go over here. Sweet. And now there's these secret spinny stairs that take you to the top. Oh yeah, this is why it tells you not to sleep in beds. Because there are beds around the map for decoration. And you want to spawn at the spawn just in case you get lost in this map. I, I have my special OP boots, so I'm just going to try to make this jump here. Even if I failed, I'd still make it. Yeah, there are a lot of feathers. I only have 13, and there's supposed to be 32 around the entire map. Last time there was a chest in a park. There it is. There we go. I wonder if there's a second one, just to sort of troll me in here, because now that I found the last one, I'm not expecting another one. No, it doesn't look like anything's in that fountain, so... I, I lost my pumpkin head, though. Although it was worthy because it got me up and it saved me a little run. Um, oh, I see what there is. Actually, I probably should—I probably shouldn't have done what I just did. Yeah, this is just gonna be a feather, and up there, there's gonna be a wool that way. So I'm gonna head back up here. This would be a really fun map to um, do multiplayer on, because then... Oh, this is probably the secret weed farm that they were talking about. Yeah, and there's supposed to be a diamond over here. But that's easy to spot, so then I can head over... No! Man, that sent me back to the bottom. Go. Cool. Okay. I hate these the um ladders. They make jumping difficult sometimes. Although they do make there are a lot of shortcuts too. I'm I'm not gonna worry too much about feathers. Yeah, they're getting me off track here. I gotta go back for the purple wool. I don't need the feathers, they're not that important. Oh no. I'm on the wrong side. If I was in, if I could, I'd just like smash through that window and get in. 
Um, yeah, everything's blocked up. You actually back to this jump for like the fifth time. There we are. Oh, this is not a weed farm. This is just like a nice palace thing that this guy has going on here. Some rich guy probably lives here. Um, yeah, so I have to go this way. There we go. You know, I'm not doing bad on this map. Although, if I was comparing to like speed run times and... Oh, it puts water, okay. So I'm assuming that this thing is going to be pretty big then if it gives me a checkpoint. I see why there's that ladder jump there. Yeah, this, this is definitely going to get tough. Actually, that wasn't that bad back there. I just jumped right over the ladder there. there. Oh, the ladder up there blocked me, I see. Um, I just gotta take this part a little, a little more carefully. Okay, here we are. Yeah, there's the purple wool. So that's one, two, three, four, five out of nine. I already have five blocks on the second episode. Nice. And then, that's probably why the feathers are all around, because it makes the extra little achievements that you gotta do. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go for the red one. Oh, I missed the jump there. I wonder what... This is probably just like an olive grove, I'm assuming. Yep, there would be a chest. Okay, so, yeah, let's get on to this place up here. Try to get the red, the red wool that's gonna be up there. Uh, actually, I just wanna see what this is here. Oh, this, that leads down to a challenge. So I'll go down there after I get the red wool. Um, oh, there's supposed to be a diamond at the execution place that I didn't get. I got the lime wool though. And, no, the lime wool was over there. What wool was that? I don't think I got that one, unless that was this color. Yeah, I think I did, I just didn't get one of the diamonds. So my goal is going to be finish this map with the wool, and then if I have extra time for this series, I will go for the diamonds and then and then the feathers at the end, and just finish exploring this map. Why does it still go up here? Oh, because there's a jump at the end. Into like the hay bale or whatever. Nice. It's becoming nighttime too, so it's gonna change the little the mood for the map. I'm gonna go down here now. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna clean out my inventory just a bit. Put the wool right here. I really don't need this map. Grab the wool, put it all there. Here we are. So yeah, let's try to get to this challenge, see where this one takes us now. And if I ever get to a challenge that I think I beat already, because then I can just tell because there aren't the three swiftness potions that there already, that there always is. Here we are. Whoa. It's a big cave thing, sort of like in um, Assassin's Creed Revelations. When he's like in the polo place or whatever. I'm lucky I made that jump. That wasn't... Oh. Oh, man. This, yeah, this is going to be tough. This is really cool, though. That was cool. I'm really enjoying this map. Actually, what's this going to do? Oh, it puts out water so I can jump across. Really? Come on, I missed the easiest jump there. That sucks. Okay. Go back for the second shot. You know, I could probably make that jump without the water. Don't need the water. I might need the water for this one, though. 
Here we are. This map isn't that difficult. Yeah, there's the green wool. I only need two more blocks of wool. Swift this potion. This is a really cool map. A really nice short one that's not overly difficult, but it's also a lot of fun to do. I might have to do some exploring after this map for the final uh, feathers and... Um, feathers and... Diamonds. Definitely for the diamonds at least. So which one do I have left to go? What color am I missing? I'm missing yellow, which was destined to be a problem from the start. <clears throat> the black and the white. Oh, I guess yellow isn't even a wool then. It just shows you where the spawn is. Nice, so I don't have to worry about yellow, black, and white. White is right here. I'm gonna go up for the white. Um yeah. I'm gonna have to find a way up onto this building. Anyways, go with guys, guys, guys. That is the end of this episode. I really hope you enjoyed this map. Feel free to go and download it yourselves. It's a lot of fun. Bet you you could have fun playing this with friends, with, with whoever, um, or even just by yourself. This is honestly a really cool map, especially for Assassin's Creed fans. I've done Assassin's Creed stuff, and um, Minecraft before because it's such an awesome game, and then. I saw this map and I thought it'd be really cool to do because I. It's a really cool game, especially if you put in a Minecraft. Minecraft parkour is a big thing, so then mixing the two makes a really badass combo. A lot of fun to play. Thanks guys for watching. Spectrum out.